Hey guys, Average Picker here. Um, so I've got a mocha going. I'm gonna put this lorry back together. And um, I thought I would show you this though. Um, and this is a little bit of a cheat. Uh, I'll let you kind of decide how much of one it is or not. I sit firmly in 50-50. I think it is a little bit cheating. I think it's a little bit not. But if you just watched my video on overset pins, I went into a little more detail and I did that intentionally about uh, the lift getting all suddenly mushy as you're lifting the pin up it you can feel it kind of mush <clears throat> and we went in and looked at the pins and explained why that happens and so now I'm going to show you a way you can take advantage of that a little bit um, this only really works on used locks and uh, yeah I don't know I, it's weird calling it a cheat it is a manipulation but um, let me flip the camera and I'll show you what I'm talking about Okay, when I was talking about detecting an overset, here we have our driver. This is our shear line between here and our key pin. What I mentioned was the, the overuse, or you know, not even the overuse, but just the use of the lock over the years. It wears the driver a little bit. And so if you get an overset, it'll start to feel mushy because as this clears in, you're gonna start to hit the part of the pin that's not quite as worn because this part has never interacted with the shear line before. Uh, other than writing, you can see just a little tab there. That's just from it riding up and down on the key as the key's inserted. And then, you know, the driver takes the brunt of it. One thing you can do if you're having a lot of issues with a lock, let's say, and you're just not, you're getting a lot of oversets, you're not feeling when the pin itself is setting. Take the lock apart and flip your driver around. So it's like that. Now what's going to happen is you've introduced into the core and now going through the shear line a part of the pin that has not been continuously for years running up and down through that shear line. And so what's going to happen when you get your lift going on your key pin, it's going to be a little, little tiny bit of resistance. Um, I'm going to say I'm going to be surprised if you can detect it, but you will get uh, a more snappy um, feeling from it uh, and you'll a more noticeable click off of it when it sets to the shear line and of course that's only going to last so long you know eventually if you pick it you know a hundred times or something it's going to wear it down but as this part interacts with the shear line and clears it you're going to get a much more distinctive click moving from the driver to the key pin than you probably were when it was turned around that way. So yeah, I mean, in one sense, it's kind of like breathing new life into the lock a little bit to flip the driver. You are though manipulating the lock to give yourself a little bit of an advantage. Uh, but you know what, you know, when you're starting out and if you're really having trouble, I, I would rather you do this um, than get frustrated and quit or get frustrated and give up on a lock you know, you go for every advantage you can when you're starting out, right? I mean, look at the key, you know, try to understand the lifting and the bidding based off the key. You don't have to keep the key out of your sight or mummified or anything like that. You're starting out, you need every advantage. Um, and you know, if you're really just having issues, um, you know, go ahead, get the experience of gutting another lock, flip your drivers. Um, and you might uh, probably, well, I, I say you might, I guess. Um, but it'll give you a little bit snappier of a feel coming off of that driver um, and going in, into the key pin so you don't overset it. A um, little bit, I won't want to say it feels like a brand new lock, but it's kind of closer to a new lock. So yeah, just a little bit of a manipulation you can do um, to give yourself a little slight advantage if, uh, if you feel like you need that. Uh, you know, I'd say if you're doing a video or something on it though, um, you know, just be honest. I think that's always just the best bet. You know, I mean, if you've had to take pins out, um, you know, say you're picking a Medico and you pick it on camera, you know, just let us know if you took out two pins, you're only having to pick three or something. Um, and the same with, you know, maybe just say, hey, I did go in and I flipped the worn out drivers around, um, something like that. You know, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, but anyway, yeah, little thing you can do. I'm going to finish my mocha, put the lorry back together, and get back to picking. So, you guys have a good one.